क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इन अ रिलेशनल एल्जेब्रा हाउ टू मॉडिफाई अ डेटाबेस वेन वी टॉक अबाउट मॉडिफाइंग अ डेटाबेस वी नीड थ्री इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट्स वन इज डिलीटिंग एंड अदर इज इंसर्टिंग एंड द थर्ड वन इज अपडेटिंग द डेटाबेस so we can do that using sql but today we will do that using the relational algebra first we will discuss about the deletion we will see that how to delete in different cases and examples from a database the values it can be a predicate it can be a whole database or it can be some attributes from a database or some values of an attribute of a database so we will see all the cases one by one first we will see a generalized form that how to delete and note it using a notation on a relational database here we can see that r is a relation which is assigned with the set difference operation that is e we are deleting from r subtracting means here we are actually deleting the value from the relation because if it is a self set subtraction then it is actually the deletion from the relation so it is the general formula to delete anything from the relation and then assign it back to the same relation to have the desired route foot in effect so now we will discuss in every case possible to delete a tuple a record or an attribute from a relation here we are using three relation among which we will perform our modification or updation now we will use the delete operations on this three relation sometimes the join of this three relation or sometime a single relation firstly we are deleting a record that is the d name smith or the depositor name smith and all the records of smith from the relation depositor and we are updating the relation depositor with the new deleted result so the deleted output will be all three without this smith record so this is one example of deleting a particular record based on a predicate using a delete operation on a single relation here you can see that we are using the selection operation for using the predicate to select which of the field we need to delete here we are using an example where we can joining the predicate that we are deleting the amount and all the records from the account relation which have a balance of greater than 2000 but less than 4000 so here as a result of this delete operation we will have this l13 removed from our relation so that is one example that how to join to predicate using a selection operation inside the delete operation
Here in the final example of deletion, we are using that first we are assigning a temporary value R1 with the result of that if the customer is residing in the city of Australia, then we are first merging the account and customer relation. So now we have all the attributes of account and customer who is residing in Australia. Now we are performing to fetching the account number TP balance, which is exactly the same attributes of the account relation from the R1. So now we have all the information on the customer, their account number, type, and balance as we have matched it with the customer relation residing in Australia. Now the account is equals to account minus R2, that is the account is being updated of subtracting or deleting all the records of the customer and their account number from this of the account relation and the submerged of the account and customer relation. So now we will have the information other than the customers we are residing in the Australia. So that is all for the delete operation. Next, we will move to the insertion operation. So just like the deletion operation, the insertion operation is represented by the union operator. That is, a single relation is getting united with the new attribute or a new tuple or a new value that can be anything which is denoted by E here and we are getting a new relation of the additional requirement. So we will now perform some of the addition on our existing relations on account, customer, and deposit. See here we are adding the values that is an account number, account type and the balance of that account to our account relation of existing. That is we are appending this one record to our existing account relation as well as the depositor relation on this relation enhancement. Now we will see some complex insertion that is say a joined relation or in a directed relation. See here is a complex insertion operation example. First we are fetching that which account type loan is in there of the merged relation of account and depositor in an outer join. Now upon sending it to R1, we will use the result of R1 to fetch the details of account type and balance only, which is in a part of account relation. See here, in the insertion part, we can only input any of the value, all the values, or some part of the values in the relation. Say for an example, when we are putting this L4 savings in 5000, we could have skipped the savings and L4, just put the 5000. So the 5000 will be added up, but definitely it has to be done with a predicate. Because without a predicate, we cannot specify that where to add that particular value. Now, in this account relation, we are adding that is R2 into 200. That means whichever account is of the loan type will be given a bonus of $200 to the previous existing value. So all the loan type customer holder will be added up, obviously the values plus a 200 bonus to their account and the depositor will be added up all the depositor name and account number who has been gifted with this additional bonus. 
So this is all for the insertion operation. Next we will move to the updation operation. Now in the optician part, we can either use of this two. First, we can update in a general way, like in a relation, we can put any of the optician like summation, making a maximum statement, minimum statement, counting the values and updating, like adding it up with another values. And also we can update with some predicate. Like we can using here, that is a predicate on relation R, unioning with the remaining predicate within a remaining side of relation. So we will take our example and with the help of that, we will see that how to update the balance and give it an interest of 5% annually with all the accounts. So how to write that? Here we are signifying that the account number and account type will be same, whereas all balances will be increased within 5% increase with annually. And the relation is the account relation that is to be updated. So the updated relation again will be assigned to the previously account relation. Now say we are defining here a clause or a predicate than in our account relation, that if the account value is greater than 20,000, then we will give a 6% interest and in all the remaining cases, we will give a 5% interest. So here we need to use a predicate using the selection operation and then update it in the account. See here we can see that we are first updating the balance by 6% interest if the balance is greater than 20,000 which is the individual and the innermost operation here upon which we are getting the balance updation. Unioning or adding it with that the balance is less than equals to 20,000 so we will give a 5% interest. So that is all for the updation part and the modification database. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.